Welcome. In front of me is a Freond M6, and today I will show you how you can hard reset this device through recovery mode. Now, before I get started, I'm also going to quickly mention that you can do this in order to remove a screen lock. So if you have one set that you don't know, this will get rid of it. But I do want to also add that if your device has a Google account signed in on it, it will most likely lock the device. And what that means is when the reset is finished and you're going through the setup of your phone, it will force you to verify either the screen lock that was previously used before the reset or the Google account that was signed in on the device prior to the reset. And assuming you wouldn't know either one of those, you won't be able to finish up the setup, therefore you're going to be stuck on it with what could virtually be described as a brick. Um, but if you know either one of those, you can then unlock the device and finish up the setup and everything will be fine. So, um, I'm going to start off the reset from the uh, lock screen as though I don't know my lock screen pattern. So I'm going to hold the, my, my power button and select power off. This will start turning off the device. Let's give it a moment. Once it turns off, hold power button and a volume up at the same time. And in a moment, you will see the Freon logo on the screen, at which point you want to let go of the power button. Now I am still holding volume up. And once the recovery mode shows up, you can also let go of the volume up. Next, using volume up or down to navigate up or down, you want to select wipe data, factory reset, confirm it using power button. And for some reason, it just changed into uh, Sirlik. Uh, but in any case, you just want to press volume down once. This will select the second option, uh, which is uh, basically a confirmation to factory reset. Confirm it with the power button again. And you can see uh, it gives us a line of code, uh, dialogue right here. So it tells us that uh, uh, it's wiping data. And then the last thing that you will see is data wipe complete, which did show up relatively quickly. And once that is visible, also reboot sys now will be selected by default. So you can now press power button to confirm the reboot of your device, which will initiate obviously the reboot and continue resetting your device in the background. Now, because it is continuing the reset in the background, it will take the device a little bit longer to boot back up. Once it's finished doing whatever it's doing in the background, we will then be presented with Android setup screen. So I'll be back once that is visible for me. And as you can see, it's now finished. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.